Cancel trade. Booster draft. Okay, am I recording? I think I'm recording. Hey, everybody, we're doing a community draft. I don't know what that means. I kind of know what it means. It means it's a Swiss, which I normally hate, but I'm in the draft with Josh. Wait, is Josh in the... Soulbush. No, this, this is not the event. The event is uh, Derek Boyko, Samuel, who I'm pretty sure is Travis Sowers, uh, Mana Deprived, which is a different website. So I don't know everybody who's in here, but I'm going to play Lavinia because this card is uh, pretty absurd. Maybe you wield Deputy of Acquittals. A lot of red here, so I guess I'm going to try and stay away from red, uh, which in this format means I will just get shipped red and not be able to get away from it at all. Uh, recurring Lavinia is pretty solid. Uh, I like gates, but yeah, let's just take that and uh, see where it leads me. <coughs> Basically, you go attack for four, and then add a you know, way to turn, then scoop it back up. Play it again. Ugh. What is the white blue guy good with? He's also good with the gatekeepers, if you can manage to make those work. I'm not sure how those work. Oh, if you're uh, watching at home, you should subscribe to draftmagic.com slash twitch. No, wait. It's completely backwards. Twitch.tv slash draftmagic.com will let you join in on the fun. Uh, and if you're not joining in on the fun, at least you get to watch it now. Uh, nothing here. This pack sucks. Could take Mastiff, but it's not good enough to take over the potential of branching out into green, which maybe will open up. Want an S-Sphinx to future duck. Past duck. I have no idea what duck is. Duck, who are you? Stop being weird. I'm confused. What else would we be watching? No, I'm saying, so you can watch it here, or you can go to draftmagic.com and watch it later. So why is there a fourth pick Beetleborg is a question many people have asked. Um, that's interesting. What's Reap Intellect do? She's up to X non -tar So it's, wait, it's a bad, bad spell. Okay. So I could take Beetleborg, which I have no fixing for. I could take fixing, which I, I have no cards for. I guess maybe set up the, uh, the gate plan. Because I do want to stick to blue-white. I'll take another gate, see where it leads me. The gates are prime, fun, tend to get a lot of shit done. Could end up being like five-color insanity. Dude, I like Beetleborg, but there's nothing here to back up Beetleborg. Like, literally, we're just trying to leave ourselves open to going as many colors as possible. We might just be five-color good stuff. But this is at least is keeping other people off our dick. Which is pretty important. Um, Warped Physique is a card that we have taken fixing for. Yeah, Beetle. I don't think Beetle was the pick there. Windrake is still just Windrake. It's not sexy. Uh, rather than jump into two other colors, I'll take Physique here. I could take another Gate. Actually, maybe I'm just a Gate deck. Uh, there's part of me that really wants to get greedy. I mean, it could set me up for white, red, blue. Pretty hardcore. Physique is also not that sexy. I'm going to take another gate. I don't love warped physique. Uh, I can take Sunspire Gatekeepers here, and I already have four gates. Uh, hopefully, I see a couple more gatekeepers. Or, like, uh, going, continuing to go down. I could take a... Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of different things I could do. Um... Like I said, red, blue, white is not a terrible idea. I like Cyclops for that. Species Gorger, not sexy. I mean, Species Gorger let me, lets me bounce Lavinia constantly, but... Although, I guess if I do the Gatekeeper deck... You know what? Species Gorger could be really good in this deck. Deputy did spin. I think it's better than Snare Squad. Uh, bears typically are. And again, it lets me bounce Sunspire Gatekeeper again. So I'm looking for comes into play effects. That seems reasonable. All these cards are bad, right? Uh, I want to keep somebody out of blue, so let's take the Demir Clue Stone from them and tell them, hey, go the fuck away. I wish we had an Opal Lake Gatekeepers here. 
But right now we have two solid comes into play effects with three different things that bounce. Oh! Yes! Dude, this deck is sick. This deck is wicked sick. This is awesome. Do we have good fixing for this? Kind of. Take Drake. I kind of just want to take Reap Intellect over Drake. Although it's probably not worth anything. Yeah, it's not worth anything. Well, it's a Mythic versus a 2-2 that I don't want. So I'm being greedy, but... It helps me complete my it helps me complete my set without having to spend a ticket. I'd rather have a dollar than a flyer I don't want. Like you know how many wind drakes there are in our colors? There's the literally the wind drake that just like costs either one white white or one blue blue. Okay, it's fifty cents. Whatever. Uh Gleam of Battle, probably not a card I'm gonna want. It's interesting. Mind Static's a little more on target, though. Yeah. Riot Control is okay, but Hidden Strings could set something up. I actually kind of like Riot Control in this deck, but Hidden Strings occasionally is worth doing. If you have, like, some weird synergy. I actually want this Breeding Pool really bad, um, but I'm probably not going to take it. Well, then again, this is a Swiss. All right, so let's look for comes into play effects. I don't see any. Uh, and I'm not... Well, I am actually trying to play green. You know what? I want Breeding Pool. It helps me splash. Skyjack's good. But this could set me up to... Yeah, because that could set me up to do, like, Simic shenanigans. Like, we might end up splashing blue. We'll see. Um, like, for instance, Cloudfin Raptor. That's pretty cool. Especially because we're bringing stuff into play over and over and over. Maybe spin Ooze Flux. I also like Drake Wing Crassus, but I like Raptor better. Uh, so Greenside Watcher in this deck seems pretty darn solid. There's a part of me that still wants to keep taking Gates in the hope I see like Crackling Perimeter or something. Let's see. I mean, I could go green-blue and splash the white. Quartz Reed Denizen's not very sexy. Yeah, I'll take green side watcher. I mean, Gate would let me play anything at this point. I would have three ways to splash red. What do, you, what do we think about being... I would have three ways to splash red, two ways to splash green... Uh, 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 Wave of the Thief is not that good. No, fuck that card. Yeah, but Watcher is pretty good. I'll take Gate, though. I don't think I'm committed to green as a two drop. Uh, I'll definitely take Oculus here over Slaughterhorn, I think. Go Doc Ock. Solid two drop, which uh, holds people back. I mean, Slaughterhorn's also really good, but Oculus evolves Raptor and stays me, keeps me on a color. I think they're about equal. Uh, Sapphire Drake is definitely good. I want more evolve. I could take Rule Guild Gate, but I think I have enough gates at this point. Yeah, I'll take Drake. Drake's a big dumb flyer. Octomom. What card was that? This card? Octomom. Dude, I want a Crackling Perimeter so bad. That card is literally insane in my deck. Um, I think I could splash Gore Clan Rampager. I have three red and two green. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fucking uh, five color. There's nothing else here I want. The card is huge. Could take Key Rune to help splash it. Sure. I don't think there's anything else here I like. Way of the Thief is just not good enough. Like, even if this said you don't need a gate to do it, I still wouldn't like that card. Boop. Yeah, Way of the Thief. Like, what am I going to put Way of the Thief on? 
I'd rather just play the four cost blue unblockable thing. I mean, I guess it's good on species gorger. Ah, I want now I need what's the gate card in the last pack? It's just a uh, what do you call it? Hold the gates. Is there anything else? There's gatekeeper. But we don't actually we can't actually play black very well. <coughs> black is actually the card we can't uh, the color we're trying to stay away from. Uh, as much as I would like another gate, I think it's unnecessary. Let's take Slaughterhorn or Basilica Guards. Guards... L eh. Tough call, actually. Actually, really tough call. I want to say Guards is probably better in this deck. Guards with deputies. Well, that's what I'm thinking is that theoretically we can chain some shit. We'll see. We'll see. Does this deck need to bounce stuff anymore? I mean, Voidwalk with those guys is pretty cool. Yeah, I'll take Voidwalk. Can I make Oozflux work? I don't think so. I think I only got one Evolve guy. Rust Scarab is pretty fine, though. And, uh... Yeah, Rust Scarab is good. Armor Transport, Naturalize. I think just Transport, so I have some beating. Naturalize is interesting. I could take one way of the Thief. Just be like, oops. I'm just trying to think like what I'm trying to get through. Creature count's pretty reasonable. I don't, I don't like transport in this deck, so I'll take Thief. This is not a, a crazy aggro deck. Uh, all these cards are bad. I'll take Coerce Confession, which is awful. Could play Tower D. Probably not going to play Skybinder Staff. Gate Creeper Vine, though, just goes and finds gates. I really wanted to get fucking uh, Crackling Perimeter. I'm mad that not one of those was opened. Still, four color cool stuff. We're going to be able to splash. We're going to open a black rare here just to make me mad. Oh, never mind. We open a perfectly on color card. And anything here I'm trying to bounce over and over? Eh, we'll find out. I mean, we're open to taking giant red things. What's the, what's the other red pair? Yeah, red blue. We have three ways to splash that red. Actually, we can take the Selesnia or the Izzet here, along with the colors we already are. I don't want to take Gorehouse Chainwalker. I can take Golgari Decoy and feel pretty okay about it. Or Lobber Crew. Uh, I guess I don't have that many uh, multicolor things. I want to say Decoy is the way to go. Decoy could set up some shit. Although, Lobber Crew fits into my defensive plan. Is there any comes to play abilities? Not really. So it's either Decoy or Crew. Uh... Decoy with the counters is pretty sexy. I mean, Crew is awesome. It gets a lot of damage done, but I already have a I already have a defender. I have some two fours there. Yeah, but I don't think a lot of the stuff in the four slots getting played. I guess it's crew. Cause I am looking for more un things. Uh, it's probably bluster squall here. Although I could take second crew and just try to get it done that way. So what does my deck do with bluster squall? Can it win the game after one? Uh, Skywatch does have the come to play effect. I still don't think it's better than taking it. I don't know. Six drops, Skywatch. Let's see. So I have Void Walk to do it over and over. I have two deputies. I wish it was like a two drop that did that, though, you know? Yeah, I kind of like crew number two. Just to... uh. Well, crew number two, I have three pieces of red. I probably shouldn't take too many red cards. I don't know. 
I don't hate... No, I do hate Skywatch as a pick. Yeah, I want a Ruster or just a car. Something cheap, you know? I will take Crew, though. I think that card... Ooh! Oh! Never mind. We're taking just a car over the Mage. And uh, we will recur it over and over again, hopefully. Sorry, new Prov Guild Mage. You're cool, but this card is sexy for us. Azarius Charm seems pretty nice. Our deck is definitely interesting. I mean, we're trying to chain Gatekeepers or whatever. Or Lavinia. And then we Wrath if something bad happens. Uh, Inaction Injunction, I actually don't like. Batterhorn has a comes to play ability. Depends on if they run a lot of shit. I could just take Pursuit of Flight, though. Which is, a uh, fucking great. You know what? I kind of want this Batterhorn, though. Ah, Pursuit of Flight, though. I guess I take Pursuit and hope a Batterhorn continues to wheel. So there's the Vassal Soul. Do I want it over the Key Rune? Fairy Imposter lets me bounce something again. Which uh, is kind of cool. I think I take Fairy Imposter in this deck. Uh, yeah, seems cool. Soul Tithe is not bad. I might just want the Flyer. What is Blister Coiled Weird? Not that cool. Soul Tithe. I'm kind of low on removal. I think I take Soul Tithe here. Creature count's already pretty good. Although we are low on Flyers. Oh yeah, the Flyer does help out the two Lobber Crews. Good point. I like that. Uh, Doorkeeper, Racketeer. Chorus of Might might be okay in this deck. What's our defense count? Is it just the one Basilica Guards? Oh no, we have two Lobber Crew. Let's go Doorkeeper. Mill. Noise. Uh, Essence Backlash. Solid sideboard. Maybe main. I think we're fucking up everybody else's draft is what's important. Nobody else has any idea what's going on. Tablet. What did I take? Uh, Destroy the Evidence is a problem against us. <laughs> so we'll get that out of the way. Tower Drake. Boom. Love that Tower Drake. <laughs> this deck does look super stupid. I'm really looking forward to playing it. Like, I'm really hoping that by taking every gate we saw, we just fucked up everybody else's fixing and they're left with a deck that sucks. Yeah, it is a Swiss. So the worst thing that happens is I got a breeding pool. And uh, probably grind out too. What does Tablet say? Isn't it just gain life? Oh, wait, does this work in my deck? Uh, almost. I really wish we had more multicolor cards. Then I would be so happy. I don't think we have enough to run Pyro Convert. Well, we have Deputy of Acquittals. Vassal Soul. Yeah, I wouldn't have played Tablet. But we'll see how many multicolor things we end up having. So Reap Intellect does not make the cut. I want Gorger. I want that. I want this, 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 this. Big dumb green thing. Pursuit, crew, crew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think eight spells is enough to run Pyro Convergence. Like, I would have wanted like 10 at the minimum. Boop, boop. Probably no hidden strings. I like the defense plan. Mind Static, not a fan. Voidwalk is cool. Drake is cool. Guards is cool. Sunspire, Justicar. Yeah, Kirun also gets in. That's true. That kind of makes me want to cut a card, though. I, th I don't think this deck runs. This deck needs to run 18 land, right? 18 land plus uh, Clue Stone. Cut Voidwalk? I don't know. Not good enough. It's either make a free guy or draw a free card. 
or uh, detain everything or detain two things. I mean, it is slow. We probably don't need it given the amount of shit that we have already to do that. I want to take a look. I want to make sure that uh, Doorkeeper sets us up to just mill the shit out of them, though. I mean, I guess actually we don't need Doorkeeper. We have a we're not trying to run the uh, Voidwalk is a little hard to get through with Cipher in your deck. Cut Pursuit. I can't imagine cutting Pursuit is a good idea. Uh, I do. I might need more tricks though. I might need to bring in Essence Backlash or something. I do have Charm. I do have Pursuit. I mean, our tricks are detain, detain is our removal, you know? To be like, hey, get out of our, get out of my way. Get out of here, bro. Cut imposter. It's a two drop that picks up something. You can pick up deputy. <coughs> I mean, power convergence is seeming better with the fact that, is it whenever, no, it's only when I cast the spell. It's not when it comes into play. I mean, I can go deputy, shoot him for two. Pick up Vassal Soul, shoot him for two. The problem is I don't have that many creatures to snatch up that are multicolored. I don't think Power Convergence makes the cut. Cut Void Walk, people are saying. No, I'm not cutting Rust Scarab. It's just a good body. Um, I mean, this is 23. What cards are we not running? We're not running Doorkeeper, Thief, Mind Static, and uh, it's Pyro Convergence. Part of me wants to cut down on the number of creatures and put in, like, Mind Static. Just in case. I think this deck just wins. Yeah, this deck doesn't want Mind Static. Could run uh, Essence Backlash or something. I don't know. This looks good to me. I could maybe be convinced to cut Pursuit of Flight, but it seems like giving Deputy Flying... I mean, I guess a lot of shit already has Flying. What card would you have cut for Pyro? Maybe Pursuit of Flight. Maybe Void Walk. Voidwalk, we have a lot of... I mean, Voidwalk can also bounce their guys, which is pretty solid a lot of the time. Like, if they have a guy with a bunch of counters on it and shit. Maybe I bring in Way of the Thief instead of Pursuit of... No, Pursuit of Flight is cheap. Alright, I don't know. I think this is the... What do you put Pursuit on? I put Pursuit on anything... Like a Species Gorger or a Zusted Car. Like Pursuit of Flight makes it... Yeah, Pursuit of Flight is good on any creature, really. It just means they can... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright, let's put some lands in. So, do I play Orzhov Guildgate? Yeah, because I want to hit... That's five gates, right? Five gates is good enough for two gate guys. Even though I don't need the black. Uh, add land. This suggestion is going to be stupid. No, it's okay to have one more tap land to make sure that we hit the gatekeepers. Our deck is going to be kind of slow as a result. But... No, five's enough. Five's more than enough to hit these things. I think five is the perfect number. Uh, so let's see. One, two, three, four... Five, six blue sources? That's wrong. I need at least seven. Probably eight. Boop. One. Uh, two. Three green sources. That's wrong. I need... Uh... Okay, I probably don't need this many mountains. I probably don't need any mountains, actually. Because I have one, two, three... Four. All right, let's cut Pursuit of Flight. Let's cut down our number of red cards and put in either Way of the Thief or Mind Static. 
I guess Wave the Thief will do the same thing that Pursuit of Flight was doing. Boop. Alright, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine green sources, so that's not necessary. Uh, eight sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue sources. White cards, I have one, two, I have a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven white sources, more than enough. And for red, I have one, two, three, four red sources, which is fine. Oh, wait, but this is 44 cards. So I have to cut more. I'm being a jerk. Uh, let's see. One, two. Let's see. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, no double blue. I can pro well, I can cut a forest. I know. Should probably cut an island. This is nineteen lands. Cut a white. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I have seven white sources. Six is enough. Mm. Part of me just wants to cut one more card and run 18 lands in here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those sources. One, two, three, four red sources for three cards. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should probably cut an island for a plains. Either that or run. I should run 18 lands and not run Gruel Key Rune. I don't want to cut Raptor in this deck. Supreme Verdict is not bad in any deck ever. Uh, key Rune's kind of solid in terms of getting us to the five slot, though. I'm just gonna run 18 lands on top and see what happens. It's Swiss. It doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we really have six white sources? I really got to get another one in here. Actually, we don't have that much green. Why am I running so much green? Boop. I only have one, two, three green cards. Shit, I can cut another one of these. Why am I running so much green? Put another island in. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get the fuck out of here. One, two, three, four, five. I can cut another forest. Add another planes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight, eight. 8-8 eight, eight split between red and blue. I have 1, 2, 3, 4 green sources, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, so I have 4 four red, 4 green, and 8 of the other ones. Which is uh, pretty much perfect. Why was I putting so much green in? I don't know what deck I thought I was building. <laughs>